Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I'd like to share a lesson that I learned on my journey about boundaries. Boundaries come in all forms. I believe we reference boundaries a lot when it's in regards to our relationship with other people. What I learned more recently is the problems I had in regards to boundaries with others was really about the boundaries I had with myself. Without going too deep into it, I joined the online community. And for someone that doesn't have social media, I thought this was a way to connect with uh, like-minded people, if you will, going by the name and the vetting process. Now, there were a couple of people who they came across very genuine. And to this point, I know at least one of them, you know, still they have no ill feelings. I jumped into a call, a Zoom call. Where they get together, they talk, I introduce myself, and things appear to be fine. All smiles, pleasantries exchange, few ideas exchange. And I'm the new guy, so I don't try to force my way into any dialogue that was taking place, or I don't attempt to ruffle feather to anybody. And given who I am, or how I see myself and the views and the views and opinions that I do have. I can ruffle feathers pretty easy. All right. So afterwards I begin to see the chat take on a different tone, right? Passive aggressive messages, comments seemingly directed at me. Now were they? I'll never know. <laughs> I will truly never know what comments appear to be pretty calculated right so in my work with myself I reflect I understand that this is not happening to me it's happening from me and through me so this is by far not giving anybody a pass and now nah, people are who they are but how did I show up to the group chat? How did I show up to the meeting? And I began to think about my actions, my comments, uh, insecurities were coming across new people. And it hit me. You showed up so worried about ruffling somebody's feathers that you downplayed who you are. And in doing so, it gave it gave others the impression, possibly, that they can say certain things without being challenged. <laughs> See, I, I laugh because I, I really enjoyed that moment. I really enjoyed that moment of that's what it was. You were upset when you felt as if somebody crossed your boundaries, but you introduced yourself into a situation without upholding your own boundaries. So for those of you who are following along with this train of thought, see, it's very interesting now because when I take that approach, that reflection, and I work with my spiritual coach on this and they help me come along to some of these realizations as well, just by asking questions. And when I said what to myself, it was like clear as day. So what I did was I took that same process and I applied it to certain times in the past. I've had moments where I've been overly agreeable and then it'll go from being overly agreeable 
to overly disagreeable. But finding that balance, that was what I come to realize that I, I found the balance on my journey for where I am. Do I have it all figured out? Hell no. <laughs> it's being truthful. But it was an empowering moment to understand that I'm reacting to boundaries or the crossing of boundaries that I failed to establish from jump. Light bulb moment. What that did for me at that time was it kept me from going back into that situation in an aggressive manner. See, first I was pissed. I was just mad. And then I chilled and I thought about it. I said, okay, in the past, you will respond aggressively. That's just how I've been doing it throughout most of my life, be aggressive. And a lot of these times come from like face-to-face confrontation. Okay, I'm with it. No problem. But this time, don't be aggressive. Be assertive. Stay where you are. Demonstrate that. A couple of days go past. I'm not going to do this in a chat room. No, I'm waiting so I can see the eyes, talk to the individuals, you know, see what's going on. Because it's a group of them. Oh, yeah. At least five or six of them. Numbers don't bother me. Okay. And then as I sat on to some more, just relax. I had a conversation with somebody in my personal life. My little relative. And I had another moment of realization. Some things cannot be undone. Cool. But when I go into this meeting, being as assertive as I know I can be, what is my expectation? That was another light bulb moment. Because initially, when I was caught up in the anger and the... uh, flood of emotions that came through when I realized what may be happening. I said, oh, no, I got to change this. I got to set the tone. Like, I got to show them who I am. You know, uh, the bravado, tough. I got to, hey, I got to put the demo down. Relax. Relax. Now I can manage my expectations. No matter what I told myself I would go in there and correct, I must be grateful that this group of people showed me who they are. I went in with an increased expectation of how they would be and how much they are like me without knowing them. That was one thing I messed up on. The second thing I almost acted upon and didn't was that same expectation i figured okay i see what i did to feed into this situation so now i must go in and correct it so they can have act right from this point on that if acted upon would not have been the way to approach it because i've already seen who they are Regardless of what I learned from it moving forward, they showed me who they are. So why would I go in expecting anything different no matter what I said or did? It's not about pride. Because I can't go around correcting the world on how to deal with me. It's not that deep. It wasn't that important. But when I came to that realization... I ask myself one question. If that's who they are, then why are you interacting with them? Cool. Left the group. It wasn't a big dramatic thing at all. It was a simple decision. I've done this with close and uh, distant relationships. Romantic friends, family. I I made the same decision before, but this time I didn't allow myself to go through all the emotions. 
I guess you could say I did, but I didn't ride and act upon the emotional roller coaster just to get to the inevitable, get yourself out of the situation thought. This time, I realized what it was. You were attempting to join a group of travelers who have their own way of going about things. And it's not for you. So don't force yourself into that. Continue on your journey, sir. There's no right or wrong way about it. But at this stage of my journey, I know better. So I do better. I saw the error in my ways. Corrected it. Proceeded on. And after I made that one decision, just remove yourself. I freed up so much mental space. My body released so much tension I had carried through the week because I was I was mentally preparing myself for war, which I've had a habit of doing in the past. But at this point, for what? It's, it's not even about being too good for engaging in certain conflicts. Like confrontation doesn't bother me. And even if it turns to conflict, like, it don't bother me. But at this point, I literally had nothing to gain. Because in confronting these uh these people, if you will, me showing up a certain way will require them to stay consistent in how they show up in a way that suits me. It's not worth it. It's fine for me. But I don't want to go into a meeting or go into conversations with these people feeling like I have to consistently engage in a certain kind of a interaction. For what? If you don't like me, just don't interact with me. Just say, hey, you're not for me. I'm okay with that. But I understand that that's different too. Not a lot of people are open to hearing those kind of statements. You know, I'm not for everybody. Everybody is not for me. Cool. So I, I share all these things uh, with the intent of hopefully helping somebody. Uh, sparking thoughts within your mind. And tell me if you think I'm flat out wrong. Hey, we all got our own opinion, right? Well, this is my insight. Uh, I'm glad to be here to share this part of my journey with you. And I would love to hear how things are going on in your journey in regards to boundaries and anything else that you would like to share. Until next time, be blessed.